Hello everyone. Now it's time for our first grammar lesson to this year. Okay? It's called the present progressive tense. The present progressive tense. Actually, you took this tense before, but you know it with another name. Can you guess? The present continuous tense. Okay? So, I want to know or revise together when do I use the present progressive? When do I use the present continuous? Okay. The present progressive are actions that are happening now or at the moment of speaking. What are you doing now? While you are speaking, what are you doing? What is she doing now? Okay. So, if an action is happening now, at the moment of speaking, I should use the present progressive. Look at this sentence. I am drinking a cup of tea now. So, when, this, when does this sentence happen? It's happening now, at the moment I'm speaking. Okay? I am drinking. So, where is the verb? drink did i write drink as it is no i put am before the verb and ing to the verb okay in this lesson i'm going to know the affirmative form of the pro present progressive the negative sentences of the present progressive and the questions will be in another video look at this picture what is she doing? What is this girl doing? Yes, she is jumping now. She is jumping now. Okay? Okay. Did I write the verb as it is? No, I write is before the verb and ing to the verb. Look at this picture. What are they doing? What are these girls doing? They are dancing. They are dancing. Okay. Look at the verb dance. I want to put ing to dance. What should I do? Look at the verb dance. The last letter is E. So, before adding the ing, I should cross the E. I should cross the E. Then put ing. Can you tell me another verbs that end in E and I cross, I cross it before putting ING? Drive, come, dive. Okay, okay. Look at this girl. Hey, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? I am lying on the ground. I am lying on the ground. Look at the verb lie. How can I write lie? L-I-E. Okay. So, when I wanted to put the I-N-G to the verb lie, I couldn't put it in beside the E. Okay. So, I crossed both I and E. I cross both I and E and put Y instead of them. So, if the verb ends in I E I cross both of them and write Y and then add the I N G like lie lying die dying tie tying okay look at this picture what are you doing guys we are running now we are running what is the verb here the verb run okay so look at the verb run look at the word running uh, can you see something different yes I have double N why did I double the N before putting the ING I double the N before putting the ING because the last three letters of the verb are CVC what what do I mean by CVC? Consonant, vowel, consonant. The R is a consonant letter. 
the U is a vowel, the N is a consonant. So if the verb ends in CVC letters, I double the last letter and put ING, okay? Like run, running, swim, swimming, sit, sitting, okay? Look at these children. What are these children doing? They are visiting the museum. They are visiting the museum. Okay. Look at visit. Miss. The, the verb visit ends in CVC too. The S is consonant. The I is vowel. And the T is consonant. No, I should never double the last letter in visit. Okay. So I wanted to tell you that there are some naughty verbs I never ever double the last letter in them okay okay so now I know that the form of the, uh, the affirmative form of the present progressive is M is R verb I N G I have three main parts of the verb the first part which is verb to be am is or the second part is the verb itself like eat drink watch sleep run and the third part is the ing letters okay okay these are our rules that i mentioned before if the verb ends in e i cross the e and put ing like drive driving come coming if the verb ends in ie i cross both of them and write why die dying tie tying if the verb ends in cvc letters i double the last letter and put ing swim the last three letters are cvc so i'm going to double the m sit the last three letters are CVC, so I'm going to double the T. I wanted to tell you, if the verb ends in Y, like cry, do I have to do anything to the Y? No, I keep the Y as it is, never cross the Y, never cross the Y, and just put the ING. Cry, crying. Study, studying. Okay? Okay, as I told you before, there are some naughty verbs, there are some naughty CVC verbs, they are punished, they never double the last letter in them, okay? I know that the, if the verb is CVC, I should double the last letter, except these naughty verbs. Visit, happen, open, listen, and any verb ends in X, Y, E, R, and W. Visit, I never double the T. Visiting. Happen, never double the N. Happening. Open, never double the N. Opening. Listen, never double the N. Listening. Any verb ends in X, like fix, fixing, without doubling the X. Any verb ends in Y, like play, playing, without doubling the Y. Any verb ends in ER, like enter never double the R. Any verb ends in W like draw, drawing without doubling the W. So what are these verbs? Visit, happen, open, listen, X, Y, E, R and W. Okay? Okay. What about the negative form? We know, Junior 4, that the negative word is means not. So negative means not. I should put not to the sentence. Look at the first one. I am playing the guitar now. If I wanted to put not, where should I put it? After am. I am not playing the guitar now. She is writing a letter. If I'm going to put not, I'm going to put it after is. She isn't writing a letter. They are laughing. If I'm going to put not, I'm going to put it after or. 
they aren't laughing. What's the difference between am not, isn't, and aren't? Can I do in am not, can I do like I, what I did in isn't and aren't, and cross the O and put apostrophe? Never ever do this, never ever. You shouldn't cross the O in the, in am not, and you should write it as it is, I am not, okay? Is will be is not or isn't. Are will be are not or aren't. Okay. Now it's time for our time expressions. What do I mean by time expressions? The time expressions are some words that I can find in any sentence in the present progressive tense. So whenever you see any of these words, you, sh you know that you should put the verb in the present progressive. What are they? Now look, listen at the moment at present. Till junior three, you took only this, these five. Now, because we're older, we're going to take them all. Now look, listen at the moment at present. Hush, stop, be careful, watch out. Today, tonight, this and these. Hush, stop, be careful, watch out, today, tonight, this and these. Okay, Junior 4, in the next video, we are going next week, we are going to know how can I form the question of the present progressive. See you later.